one of those clearances that you learn about when you're getting your instrument rating, but oftentimes never actually receive is a cruise clearance. So if you do get it, you'll probably be a little bit surprised, but honestly, it's a fairly simple clearance to understand. It's both a clearance for an altitude along your route and a clearance for the approach at your destination airport. And it's defined in the pilot controller glossary. So essentially a cruise clearance allows you to fly at any altitude from the minimum in route altitude for your route of flight up to and including the altitude specified in the cruise clearance. So if ATC says cruise 5,000, then you are able to fly from the MEA up to and including 5,000 feet MSL. And climb and descent within that block is entirely your discretion. You can do it whenever you want, leveling off where you want, though you would need to maintain an appropriate IFR cruising altitude. Now, once you verbally report descending out of an altitude, essentially you're telling ATC, I'm done with that, I'm on my way down, you cannot climb back up to that altitude. So if you're making those altitude changes and you don't report anything, you can level off and climb, descend as you want. Once you report leaving an altitude for a descent, now you can't go back to that altitude. A cruise clearance is also a clearance for an approach at your destination airport. And the type of approach you need to execute depends on the weather conditions. So a cruise clearance can be given both to an airport with published instrument approaches and a cruise clearance can be given to an airport that does not have any instrument approaches or does not have controlled airspace all the way down to the surface. The type of approach you conduct depends on the weather conditions for your descent and arrival to the airport.